So to fix the invisible enemy issue, uh, the first step is to switch to window mode and lower down resolution. Now for this, go to game, then go to settings, and then go to video. Now over here, if it is set to borderless, you can set it to window mode. Now if the display resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. So this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So switch to window mode and lower down resolution. You can even try 1600 into 900 or maybe 1366 into 768. So I will just keep at 1600. And then hit apply on the bottom. You will see the apply option. Hit apply and then you can check. The next step is to switch to switch render resolution to balance or performance mode. Now for this, go to settings once again and then go to video once again. And here you can see render resolution. Now if this is set to native, you can try it to you can try the balance and then apply the settings and then check. If that does not work, you can even set it to performance and then hit apply and then check. The next step is to now the next step is to set all video settings to medium or low quality. So scroll down and here you can see quality preset. Now if this is set to ultra, in that case you can set, set it to high. You can even go for medium or you can even go for low quality, but make sure that you hit apply and then you can check. Now the next step is to lower max maximum frame rate to 60 or 30. So go to settings and over here you can see uh, scroll up and then you will see FPS limit. Now if this is set to unlimited, you can set it to 60 or you can even try 30. I will keep at 60 and then check. Now the next step is to turn off crossplay. Now for this go to settings and then go to the game option on the top and then scroll down at the very bottom you will see Crossplay. If this is on, you can turn it off, apply the settings, and then check. Now, the next step is to turn off Steam overlay and close all the overlay application. So, if the game is running, you can close the game first and then turn off Steam overlay. Now, for this, go to Steam and then make a right click on the game. Make a right click on the game, select properties, and then here you can see enable steam overlay while in game. If this is on, you can turn it off and then check. Also close all the other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, GE Force Experience running, close all the overlay application and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Click on browse over here. Go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file. Click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Now once the game is added, Click on the game and then click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Again, click on browse and then this time open this, go back. First of all, select this exe file, add it and then select high performance. Also open client PC, root, bin, PC, select this exe file, again click on add. Again, once the game is added, in my case it's already added. Click on options and then select high performance. Now click on save. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. This is important. So go to NVIDIA website. If you have NVIDIA card, go to AMD website. Go If you have AMD card and then perform a clean installation. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory.
So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on Change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM, so sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49115 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the invisible enemy or invisible character on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel